All right, it's summer again, and it's time for more smoking. Uh, I got my setup right here. So I'm gonna throw those uh, coals in there. This is a uh, actually gas-powered smoker, but uh, I'm gonna throw in some uh, hot coals in there. Open the vents up, both bottom and top there. Um, we've got some beef I marinated overnight, uh, some dry rub, and that's about it. We'll come back. I also got some uh, wood in there, some, yeah, some, but I'm soaking it in water because um, otherwise it will just burn out too quickly. And um, this will just last a little longer, put out a lot more smoke. I got a drip pan here, uh, put some water in it. So uh, that way, hopefully, we'll maintain some of the moisture there. It won't be too dry. I mean, it won't dry out too much. Um, also, control the temperature in a way. Uh, yes, I do have this knob right here. Keep it on low all the time. I don't want too much uh, heat in there. But um, also, the uh, of course, the drippings will, will fall in there instead of the coals start up a flame whatever um, and uh, I'll just have to probably kind of refill it from time to time okay these guys are doing really good I know some people like to throw them in there once they're uh, coated in a white color ash but I don't um, I want to throw them in there right now because um, I want them to burn slow and not put out a lot of heat Here's the meat. This is some beef. I really forget what the cut is. Um, anyway, it's been marinated overnight in the fridge with some uh, dry rub. I didn't really want to use anything else. Uh, no wine, no oil. Um, really nothing. Um, sometimes I do, of course, uh, marinate it um, with some liquid in there. Um, but this time it's just dry. So this is the way I set it up. Okay. Um, in a few hours we should do all right I'm just gonna throw in some uh, some wood chips in there uh, they haven't really been soaking for a long time they should have but I forgot about that uh, I usually have them soak in for about an hour um, but it's all right I'll return. Temperature is slowly rising there. Um, uh, in the first phase of it, I'll want it to be um, maybe around, well, as close as possible to 200, like 175, 200 range, um, just for the smoking part. And then when I'm when I'm gonna cook it, um, at least to, between 225, 275 range. Got a new toy right here. This is really good. Who said Harbor Free doesn't sell good stuff? Look at that. It's good for uh, when you're working on your car too. Really. Put it on the side of the car, hold your beer right there. Or your uh, tools, I mean. So I decided to uh, add some sausages some chicken, marinated chicken actually. The color looks really, really good. Um, the beef too. It's been about six hours since I started. I just added the uh, sausages. So of course these guys are nowhere near um, getting nice and done. But the, uh, the beef is, is looking really, really nice. The drip pan, look at that. Plenty of smoke going on. All right, we'll be back. Six and a half hours. The smoke is doing really good. Temperature is kind of what I want it to be. You can probably hear the uh, 
sizzle over there, the fat falling on the coals. Yeah. That's doing good there. Um, smoke is still coming out everywhere. So, I'll let the uh, coals run out and then um, I'll, uh, oh, let's see. I don't want to do this, but anyway, this is for the show. That looks good. That looks good, 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 good. See the uh, meat is sweating over there. Okay, let's close this up. Coals are doing really nicely. No flame. So when they run out, I'll uh, I'll just um, crank up the heat a little bit. Just put that thing over there so no leaves would fall inside or anything like that. Um, and then I'll crank up the heat maybe 250, 275 uh, for maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, these guys are done. It's, um, it's been staying steady there right around 250 for a while. Okay, so, let's see, we'll get the uh, chicken out. Looks good. You can see it has been uh, shrinking there. The coals are still going. Not too bad. Alright, so it's been eight hours since I started. And let's see. Yeah, the. Uh, looks good. Now I'm just going to let it rest for a while. I'll cover it up a little bit and I don't know, maybe 10-15 minutes and we'll slice it. Can wait. So this is the final product. Still very juicy. And yet done. I don't like my, uh, my meat rare, medium rare, medium anything, I, I really like it done. I don't want to hear the uh, animal cry there when I cut it. 